Uh, it's the evening of Wednesday, November 18th. Um, it has certainly been a very interesting couple of days. Yesterday, we had our first sliding session, and afterwards, um, the sled became dislodged from scabbards during transport, and the scabbards are what keep the blades from contacting the ground or other um, other materials. The scabbards for the sled that we rented were given to us in a condition that made it possible for it to dislodge and so it ran right over the tip of my finger so a centimeter to the left thankfully a centimeter to the left uh, for my finger um and it would have just been sliced cleanly off or maybe not so cleanly it probably would have crushed the bone but um thankfully this only cut the tip of the index finger you know down the middle a little bit and so that the finger is is healing it will heal naturally bandaged um and thankfully, I don't need it for steering, so I really don't mind. You know, it, I, I don't use my index finger to steer. I use the bottom three fingers. Um, but that was number one. Number two is the brakeman got a bit injured and will be heading home about 45 days, 40 days early. Uh, that has created a bit of a vacuum here, an interesting one to fill, uh, which reveals again the, the difficulty of dealing with limited resources because I, in the ideal scenario where we had not lost our funding um, I would have brought over a, an additional brakeman to mitigate this issue so but for the next 45 days until the Israeli guys are cleared to slide they, they have to get here after their rugby tournament in South Africa go through the quarantine and then then they'll be cleared to slide I have to find a local stand-in and so I got an incredible um, response today when posting on a Facebook group in Korea. Um, very few were able to take off Monday through Friday for the next um, month and a half. But a couple were, including a Korean stunt woman. She might come out on Monday. And the whole name of the game for the next few months is just getting in the repetitions. So repetition, 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 continuing to increase uh, my familiarity with driving, which is already quite, quite decent. Uh, but... Um, you know, not not having this be the stumbling block is right now the name of the game. So we're always adapting. Uh, we're never reacting. We're always anticipating and adapting. And this is one of those situations in which I would love to be upset. I love if, if this were four years ago, I definitely would have gotten upset or aggravated. Uh, but one of the things that that, you know, the incredible um, the incredible difficulties that have been faced in the last five, six months has really taught is that there are some people who are malicious about derailing you and that you can get upset about but then there are circumstances beyond your control that you really can't get upset about and so as i was talking to these guys in israel tonight uh moran is you know one of the guys who is one of the three boys i was telling him you know in the cosmo if i don't have any anger in my heart over you know what's going on um there are people there who hate Jews, who hate Israelis, who just want to see you get get killed. Um, if things happen due to nature or injury, I'm still happy that I get to represent the white and blue. So I think this is still an incredible opportunity. It will make us more resilient. And it adds something to the story, <laughs> for sure. But uh, I appreciate everyone hanging in there and supporting. I love you all. It's it's incredible to share this journey with you. Um, have a great, you know, have a great rest of the day. Bye.